Let's talk about that one, John. I just saw, by the way, Rocket Man. <sighs> Spectacular. Spectacular. I loved it. I actually liked it more than Bohemian Rhapsody. I really, really did. To me, it was a little bit more artistic. It was, uh, you know, and here's the thing. I'm not a musical fan whatsoever. I was never into musicals, musical movies, musical Broadway. Sometimes you just pop up and start singing in the middle of a conversation. That always drove me nuts. I never really got into it. I know it's, you know, a great thing, but musicals never for me. Rocket Man, spectacular. It just all worked. It all really worked, and it was pretty good. It was really, really good. I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, Elton John has a new autobiography. And he, in this piece, really details some of the things that he did over the course of his lifetime. It is a little shocking. It is a little shocking. And maybe not for the kids, this one. You know what I'm saying? Maybe push them away from the radio uh, or the internet for a second. Uh, Me by Elton John is out on October 15th. And they published a couple of uh, bits of the book in the Daily Mail. And I have it for you here of some of the things that Elton did, various incidents where he behaved horribly while under the influence of alcohol, drugs, or both. One, in 1983, he drank uh, several vodka martinis and did coke with Duran Duran, while filming the I'm Still Standing video in France. Elton took off his clothes on the video set, rolled around naked, punched his manager in the face, smashed up his assistant's hotel room, and passed out. The next morning, he didn't remember doing any of it. When invited to join the Rolling Stones on stage for one song, he wouldn't get off the stage and just kept jamming, much to the dismay of Keith Richards. Once while at a party, Elton mistook Bob Dylan for a gardener. He (laughs) was. (laughs) <laughs> once he realized <laughs> that's just kind of funny once he realized who it was he attempted to bring Dylan back to his house to make him change out of those quote terrible clothes and into some of his <laughs> that's actually a skit on SNL thank God Elton's doing better and clean and sober now because uh, forget it if he was still doing these things while well, the Lumineers and, and Mumford and Sons were around, he would be, he'd be doing a lot more of this gardener bit. Be like, let me get you out of those clothes, farmer. Let's get to, oh, you're not a, why are you wearing that if you're not, if you're not tending to the garden then? Um, in the late 80s, Elton John's boyfriend, Hugh, left him to go to rehab, to which Elton responded by spending the next two weeks doing cocaine, drinking whiskey, not dressing, not washing, and purging what little that he ate. Uh, Elton writes that he admitted that he was addicted to drugs, alcohol, food, and sex and asked for help. In 1990, he went to rehab and estimates that he attended 1,400 recovery meetings over the next three years. These are, I mean, it's a pretty serious, except for for the Bob Dylan thing, which is really hilarious. Outside of that, um, I mean, some of these things are just, it's just insane. Uh, The pop rock legend writes, some people really struggle when they come out of addiction, but I was elated. Every morning I was just happy to wake up without feeling like garbage. Paraphrasing there. He used an expletive. Um, That, I mean, you know, you you do get a, a good sense of that. It's amazing because the movie, with all the music and everything, it's kind of like fun and, you know, there's music, it's really good songs. You're kind of like, this is great. But, Everything behind Elton's music is is sad, you know, is really, really sad. And his family dynamic is just, you know, honestly, I have I had a whole and I've always been who's not an Elton John fan, but I had a whole new respect for him after watching that film. And a lot of his songs really took on some different meanings for me after watching that movie. And I have a feeling you're going to get an even more in-depth look at that with this uh, new uh, autobiography, Me. Again, in stores, October 15th. You know, it's weird because you do... His behavior is, you know, inexcusable. I mean, nobody should behave like this. And nobody should abuse themselves and hurt themselves like he did. 
But when you see what he went through, you know, it's just like your heart goes out to him, you know? It really, really does. It really, I honestly had a whole new feeling of sympathy for, for Elton after watching that movie and hearing about some of these things. Um, but the weird thing is, is it almost kind of makes you even happier because you see how he's turned out, you know, how he's been able to come away out of all this. And he's got a beautiful family and husband and kids and everything. And he's out touring the world three year run on the farewell tour, just having a blast. Um, certainly was celebrating during the film's release. It's just, it's nice to see the way it all turned out because it doesn't always turn out that way. Uh, look for Elton's book, October 15th. And uh, I think uh, you can see Rocket Man on Netflix and Hulu and whatever else, all the video on demand stuff. That's your EHM Daily Music Note.